Welcome back to Pentiment. Time flies, it seems. Goodness. <laughs> it's November 5th. 6th. Ah, Mistress Trukorin. I have a few letters here addressed to you. Take care now. Thank you, sir. Mother Illuminata wrote back to me. I hope her response helps me paint the mural. Mistress Strukarin, thank you for your letter. I hope this reply finds you and your father in good health. I remember you both as your father would carry you between the rows of our library in its final years. I also remember your late mother and brother. God keep their souls. While we did have some books that discussed Dasing's past, it's likely they were as mythological as what your neighbors believe. That said, I remember one of the peasants, Tilman Kreutzer, read about the history of the town. Yeah, that was my idea too, to ask him, but... I don't know if he's still alive. I know he died during the revolt, but perhaps his family knows some of what he learned. No, he died. I should also say that it's not true that all of Kirsau's books were destroyed by the fire. Andreas Mahler managed to save some from the flames. God rest his soul. In the aftermath of that terrible night, cataloging and preserving the surviving books was not at the top of any of our minds. Even so, this topic has stirred a memory within me. Several years before the fire, there was a death at Kirsau, the murder of Baron Rotvogel. He had mentioned something about finding a copy of Historia Tassie, a comprehensive chronicle of your home. Interesting. I had forgotten about it until now because the murder dominated all of our thoughts in the days and weeks that followed. It troubles me now because I recall that the late Father Matthias was also reading a copy of Historia Tassia shortly before he died. We never accounted for either book's whereabouts. They may have been hidden somewhere in the library and went up with everything else. Perhaps Lucky Steinauer took it from the Baron after the murder. Though, given the stonemason's motive, it seems unlikely. Then again, only God knows what he did and why he did it. Miklaus Heberle, the Baron's manservant, believed it may have been stolen by the town thief, Martin Bauer. If Martin is still alive, I would ask him if he knows where the book is. Well, we know that Martin is not alive. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't trade it for a mug of beer on his way out of Tassink. If the man has passed from this world, perhaps his family knows where the book wound up. As for the history of the Abbey, I fear that was also lost in the blaze. However, as sacristan Prior Matthew learned a great deal about the, the subject, Appointed official in a monastery responsible for maintaining the sacristy where vestments and objects used in ceremonies are kept. The sacristan is also often the treasurer. Prior Matthew. I have not kept in contact with him, but I know that he is now the Archdeacon of Sion. Once a free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, Sion became the capital of Valais when the canton joined the Swiss Confederacy following the Swabian War in 1499. Okay. He's no longer a Benedictine, but uses his family name, uh, Fonsigny Sion. If you write to him soon, your letter may reach him before snow covers Valais. And that is a canton in the Swiss Alps. Valais became an associate member of the Swiss Confederacy in 1529, so much later. Please convey my best wishes to your father. 
he was a good friend to the Abbey in its better years. Despite the violence that occurred, I hold no ill will toward anyone from Tussing. I pray that you have seen better days since that night and that God forgives the many errors we made. God bless you as well. Mother Illuminata, Abbess of Santa Margarita. Cool. Oh, Esther wrote to me as well. <laughs> My dear Magda, I pray it goes well with you. Break has been pleasant warm, pleasantly warm as of late. We are still residing outside of the city, but we found a place to stay nearby. Father thinks the king's expulsion order will be lifted eventually. He says Jews are too important to printing here for the king to push us out forever. Speaking of printing, your ink was well received indeed. I've made several prints with it. They look lovely on the wall. Elisha has taken to making his own ink from scraps he found around the house after he saw yours. Mother was furious when he spent several pfennigs trying to find lapis at the market. She set him scrubbing the floor for it. Took him three days. I'm glad you're keeping busy, even though it keeps you from visiting. Father says we'll have room whenever you decide to make an appearance. Though, really, if you don't plan to stay in Tussing, you ought to come sooner rather than later. There are plenty of beautiful young Christian men, ar men around town, printers and academics alike. Or maybe something else, you'd have your pick. Break is a good city for me as well. Before the expulsion, there was a handsome man at synagogue, Simond, who caught my eye. His father is a merchant, and he's a doctor. He went to the University of Padua. Can you believe it? I'd quite like to marry him, if I can find him again. Anyway, I think you'd have even better luck than me. The boys would swoon at a beautiful blonde artist from the Alps. Please keep us abreast of your father's mural. We'll have to come see when it is finished. Blessings, Esther. Ah. I'll have to write Esther back tonight. I should head home and check on Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? Ah, Magdalene. Sitting upright is uh, still a struggle, I'm afraid. The dizziness makes my stomach turn, so I'd rather not eat at the moment. Are you sure? I can bring up something light, like milk or broth. No, no, no. I can't stomach anything just yet. But tell me, where are you off to? I need to get started on the first part of the mural today, the old history. Mother Illuminata didn't know much about Tassing's early history, but she did give me a few places to start. I'm going back to Black Till, if his grandfather told him any stories. Illuminata said he used to read about the Romans. Ah, that's his son. Cool. Mother Illuminata, Margarete. Right, yes, Mother Illuminata. Young Kreutzer has mentioned those tales from time to time, yes. He comes by to borrow books now and then. Usually when he's found some interesting old ruin out in the fields, you might ask him about that. Il Peter's always harumphed about how no one paid attention to the old ways anymore, too. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell about old Tussing. You might stop to talk to him. <laughs> but he's so mean. Hmm, I didn't think of that. Thanks, Dad. Of course, Magda. It's nice to feel useful, even if I'm stuck here in bed. Nonsense. I'm just glad you're awake. You might talk to Smokey, too. 
the old charcoal burner seems to know more about what's in the woods around town than anyone else. That, and he's a known gossip. <laughs> he's always been kind to me when I chat with him. I'm certain he'll know something about the ruins. You may hear something worth your while, at any rate. I'll go talk to him. What about the ruins or the mines? I can't use, I can't just use books and stories alone. I want to explore whatever is left from the Romans and before. The salt mine and Roman ruins are the oldest parts of Tussing, so it only makes sense to see what they left behind. Ah, you take after your mother. She, wa she was always thorough in her research. You always said that's what good artists do, Dad. Be careful, all right? I know the twins mess around. I know the twins mess around near the salt mine, but I don't want you getting hurt. Don't know why York doesn't keep them in line. Always making trouble, those two. <laughs> oh, Artemis and uh, Apollo are the son and daughter of Big York. <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, they look alike. I mean, they're twins after all. Very cool. At least Artemis actually knows how to read. I don't think Apollo can even spell his name. <laughs> the boy struggles with his letters, Magdalene. Don't shame him for it. Not everyone is a printer's daughter. He's right. Don't forget your other chores while you're running around town, all right? We still have a household to run. Don't worry, I'll get everything done. That's my girl. I'd better get going if I want to do all of that today. i see you later, Dad. Good luck, Magdalene. Awesome! Oh, that is so cool that now the circle closes, right? We go back to the beginning, to the book. And Baron wrote Vogel's murder. Man, this game is so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, nothing here. We don't sleep. We go exploring. Now, let's look at our journal here. Uh, Tassing's early history. Mother Illuminata's letter suggest suge suggested that Martin Bauer or his family might have a book on Tassing's history. She also thought I should write to Matthew, Kirsa's old sacristan, about the Christian history of the town. Il Peter has been around forever. You might remember some of the old stories. Black Till's grandfather read a lot about Tassing's history. Maybe he's made it a family tradition. Smoky Curler spends all his time in the forest. I think he might know something interesting about the ruins or the mines. I hope we can do all of that. Uh, in her letter, Mother Illuminata mentioned that two copies of a history of Tassing had both gone missing before the Abbey fire. She suggested that Martin Bauer stole one of the copies before he fled town. I wonder if he hid the book somewhere before he left. I should ask around. So I think this resolves by doing this. Let's look at us. Tassing. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, That's what we did. But there were no options. Yeah. Okay. And there are our entries. We can go to the Kreutzer's house, to the charcoal burner, the old salt mine, that's the Kreutzer's house, I think, and Gärtner's farm to talk to Il Peter. And in the abbey, we cannot do anything. <gasps> it's not even drawn in here. Does that mean we can never ever again get to the abbey? Look at that. It's crazy. Let's look at the people. So 
so that we know oh, we are on that page. So Apollo Gardner is son of Veronica and Big York Gardner, twin brothers of Artemis. Daughter of Veronica and Big York. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Tillman Black Till Kreutzer, grandson of the late Till Kreutzer, husband of Eva, father of, father of Christina, maintains his family's interest in the history of Tassing. Then Esther Sommerfeld, daughter of Benjamin and Rachel, Jewish printers from Prague, born in Tassing during the, revol the revolt of 1525, friend and epistolarian of Magdalene. Yeah. So it's funny that Big York named uh, his children after old gods. And I think that's an influence of uh, ill Peter, right? Because he liked to pray to the old gods. Kraft Bauer, son of uh, Brigitta and Martin Bauer, grandson of Agnes and the late Lucky Steinauer. So he grew up. That's Kraft, okay. And Martha Pfeifferin, the younger sister of the late Anton, daughter of Carl and Helena. Who is Anton and Carl and Helena? Ah, oh, dang. I have such a bad memory. So people and names I can't remember ever. <laughs> Not even in real life. Central town, town commons. What do we do first? Where do we start? We could go to the Bowers. Because I think that will lead nowhere as uh, Martin is not Martin. We know that much. Here's his son, Kraft. And here's Martin. Let's talk to Brigitta first. Magdalene, how are you keeping? It's interesting that nobody is investigating what actually happened to her father, right? So he saw somebody and even Dr. Stoltz said that um, it was a hit to the head, but no one really cares. It must have been somebody from town, but <laughs> it's just like, oh, well, that happened. <laughs> so that's so weird, isn't it? No, I'm eager to continue work on the mural. I have so much to do before Christmas. I'm certain it will be the pride of Tassing when you're through. You've always had your mother's talent for art. And how is your dad? Hmm. You're one of, you're one of the only people who've asked how I'm doing before asking about my dad. Hmm. Yeah, she seems to be really nice, but... Hmm. Would we learn more if we say that? Because, I mean, she knows how the dad is, right? Huh. I know how it is to be the sole caregiver. Yourself disappears behind the needs of the person you're looking after. I worry about you, carrying that weight alone. Caring for someone can be an arduous task, even if you love them. It's alright if it's you find it challenging. The Lord sees your labors for your dad and admires them. But I believe God will pull your dad through, whatever the doctor says. We need him. I don't know what I'll do if he dies. I feel crazy even thinking about it. Should the worst come to pass, you will not be alone, Magdalene. Believe me. It may feel like you are, but... Have you thought about what you'll do if... Uh, if your dad doesn't come through this? Hmm. Yeah, he would, but we don't want to. I can't think of that ahead right now. It's that far ahead right now. You're right, of course. Focus on the here and now. 
be here for your dad. But you're a good girl, Magda. There are any number of families in Tassing who would be happy to take you. You have someone in mind, don't you? <laughs> uh, we picked that, so... I literally... I literally can't imagine who you'd be alluding to. <laughs> There's not a single young man of quality in this town. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. <laughs> not even young rats. <laughs> He's about as supple as his father. God rest Otto's soul. Ah, I miss him. I wish I'd got to meet him. Properly, I mean. He made an impression, that's for certain. Oh, the girls around town knew better than to moon after him, though that didn't stop some of us. <laughs> he was Eva's from the start. As it appears to be yours. <laughs> but if nothing ever comes of that, know that you're always welcome in my family, Magda. Craft's a nice boy, if a bit immature, but he's still growing. <laughs> Are you trying to set me up with your son? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you blame a mother for trying? You're a good, respectable girl, Magda. Any family would be lucky to have you as a daughter. <laughs> I'm not sure we're a good ma match. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but I'd prefer decide in my own time. All right, all right. I'll let it lie. <laughs> you know, not every marriage may start off on solid footing. But if you pray and work and trust in the Lord, you can find it in time. Believe me. <laughs> if it's not working out, how can you be sure a couple belongs together? If it's not working out, how can you be sure a couple belongs together? God knows. He brings people together for purpose. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we don't need to understand it, only to have faith in providence. In any case, I should get back to the chores. Remember what I said? Whatever happens, you're always welcome in my home. Oh, before I forget, I actually had a question about an old book. Martin is supposed to have stolen it from that baron who was killed years ago. Do you know what happened to it? Oh. I hope this doesn't get me into any trouble, but I still have it, hidden in a drawer. Wait, what? She does? Martin left it behind when he ran off. So he did steal it. I wouldn't have thought it. I knew he stole the rings. But I would never suspected him to steal the book, actually. Hmm. Might you keep it? What was I supposed to do? The Baron was killed soon after, and there I was holding his stolen book. I didn't want Martin to get in any more trouble than he was already in. I never read it, though. I don't read well. Can I have it? I don't know. I need to reference it for the mural. But won't everyone wonder where you got the ideas? I've been talking to people all over town. They'll think I get the ideas from them. Huh. Oh, all right. I'd like to have nothing more to do with it. To be frank, it reminds me of difficult times. A stolen book of a dead nobleman in our home. Perhaps it spoiled our milk and turned our eggs all these years. Here you are. Please don't tell anyone I had this. Ah, Historia Tassie. That was easy. Man, I wouldn't have thought that he had it, actually. Hmm, it's in Latin, which I don't read well. I'll puzzle over it in the evening. Thank you, Brigitte. You've been a big help. Of course, Magda. Be well now. God bless. You too, Brigitte. Until later. Dang! 
That's crazy. <laughs> we just have it. Awesome. <laughs> Let's still talk to the other people here. Hey, Max. <laughs> I'm not Max, not for you. <laughs> Morning, Magdalene. How's Klaus? Enduring. Even when his speech is slurred, he keeps a cheerful heart. I don't know what life would be like without him. Claus is a good man, Magdalene. Tessing is a better place thanks to him. He's one of the few in Tessing who hasn't been on my back all this time. What do you mean? Don't pretend, don't pretend like you haven't heard townsfolk have whispered shit about me for years. So what if I occasionally get into a few brawls? I'm an honest man. I wasn't involved with what happened to Otto Zimmerman. I supported his cause. I've pulled my weight around here, tilled the soil, salted the meats, provided for Brigitte and Kraft. Don't even get me started on Agnes. <laughs> what about Agnes? Always nagging at me, saying I'm a disappointment compared to Lucky. I wasn't even here when he di when he died. Hmm. Should we make him angry? I don't think that's a good idea. We know that it's not Martin and that he gets easily aggravated. I mean, she doesn't know that, so we can say that. Maybe that's the issue. You weren't here when you were needed. For him it's a bit weird, because he's not even Martin, but we don't know that. Can't change the past, can I? I was just a dumb kid. I couldn't have helped Lucky in any way. Agnes is a bitter crone who should leave me be. I've done enough backbreaking, backbreaking work for this family. Can't the men just have a goddamn rest? Hmm. Why are you always getting into fights anyway? Sometimes an asshole just needs to get his teeth pounded in. <laughs> Does beating the shit out of someone really solve a problem? Maybe. Don't want to solve problems though. Don't even have the patience anymore. Had enough. Just want what I'm owed. Right. I've lost enough time to this as it is. Time for you to go. Until later, Martin. Dang, he's bitter. Okay, let's get to Il Peter. But before we do so, and as we are free to move... Dang, it's still empty. <laughs> we explore the fields down here. Ah, oh, yeah, Hedy is still alive. Hi, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. How is tomorrow coming? I hear you browbeat the council into letting you do it yourself. Hmm. It took some work, but I convinced them to let me paint the rat house, yes? Haha. <laughs> well, it's good to see those stubborn bastards can be moved. God may God may have made men from dust, but I swear he left some of them with rocks for brains to <laughs> Did you know Jörg was by to check on my hinges? I've had about enough of their silly projects. That Zimmerman boy seems to have a good head on his shoulders, though. Once you're settled down with him, you'll have a good life ahead of you. They all think we're with Earths. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to think of the future right now with what's happened to my dad. Oh, sweet girl, I'm sorry. My mouth goes faster than my head sometimes. Or so my Johan used to say. Your dad's only ever been a fair-weather friend to people like me, but... 
He's a family man at heart, and I can respect that. I hope he knows how lucky he is to have you looking after him. He, rega he regrets it, you know, what happened the night the Abbey burned down. I'm sure he does. He could have made a real difference for us. Stuck his neck out, but he was scared. We all wish things could have turned out different, but that's life, huh? Anyway, give my best wishes to your father and take care of yourself. Thanks, Hedy. Until later. Until then. Man. Simon? Hi, Magdalene. I heard what happened to your dad. How's he doing? Resting. He suffered a severe blow to the head. I'm worried, to say the least. Hans sends his regards. The Bauer household is praying for a swift recovery. Thank you, and thank Hans and Jutta as well. I will. Klaus has always been such a bad rock of tossing. I'd hate for him to die. I'd be, uh... No, I'm sorry. It's fine, I fear it as well. It's best not to ignore one's fears. Do you miss your father? Your real one, I mean? Do I miss him? Oh, kind of. I don't remember Joseph all that much. He's become a haze of sorts. A faint echo. A feeling. An occasional emotion. I was so young when he got killed. Mom said I had trouble understanding what had happened for a long time. Hmm. It's not easy to experience with this type of loss and grief. Suppose not. But life goes on. We all got res responsibilities. Can't sit around being somber forever. tossing has been through a lot. We'd never get to stop mourning with all that's happened. Hmm. That's not much of a consolation. Best I can come up with. But then again, I'm not smart like you, Magdalene. Anyway, the winter draws closer. I got a lot of preparations to take care of. I truly hope Klaus recovers soon. God look after you both. Until later, Simon. Hmm. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Hans. Hmm. Uh, I hope your dad recovers quickly. He's a good man. Thank you, I'll tell him you said that. Good. This town has seen many terrible things, but we've re recovered before. Maybe the Lord will return your dad to health too. I pray you're right. Be glad you have this time with him, I say. Wish I'd had as much with Hel Helvig. Anyway, I should get back to it. Until later, Hans. Man, yeah, everybody suffered losses, so... Yeah, kinda lucky. That he didn't die immediately. <laughs> Will Peter is still here. <laughs> that is amazing. And Big York's here. But uh, I think we'll talk to all of those in the next episode. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.